Okay, great. Um, um, so I'm here today to talk about sec.el uh, and map.el, uh, two new libraries that are including in Emacs 25. Um, sec.el is a library that you can already use today. It's available in Elpa and, and Melpa. Uh, but map.el will only be uh, available in Max 25 for, for, for technical reasons. Uh, if you want to um, download my slides, they will be available here on my website. Uh, this sentence is a lie. I didn't put them yet, but I promise I will. Um, let's talk a bit about myself. Uh, my name is Nicolas Pitton, or in French, Nicolas Pitton. I'm a software engineer. I work in Stockholm, Sweden, but as I already said, I'm not a Swiss. I'm French. And I'm the organizer of the Stockholm Emacs Meetup. Uh, I believe uh, that we will talk about uh, meetups later on, and would like to follow that, because I'm organizing one, and it's always good to, to have new ideas and, and new topics to talk about. Uh, I'm also the maintainer or commentator of several Emacs packages. I only mentioned four there, but you can go on my GitHub account and, and uh, see uh, the list of stuff that I work on. Uh, the most known, I guess, would be GS2 Refactor. I'm working on with Magnas. Uh, it's an engine for JavaScript that works with the AST of GS2 mode. Uh, and I'm, of course, the author of this new library, Second Map, as well as Stream.yet. I, I will try to talk a bit about it uh, later uh, during this talk. Uh, if you want to contact me, feel free to do so uh, at Nicolas at Beaton.fr or on Twitter at Nicolas uh, Okay, let's get started. Um, yeah. So what are uh, Sec and Map? Uh, they're new libraries in Mac 25, and their purpose is to provide uh, good support mm -hmm. and a high level API for collections. Uh, SEC uh, works on sequences, uh, so sequential data structures like vectors and lists, and MAP works on uh, key value data structures like uh, A lists or hash tables or vectors also. Um, I, one of the goals was also to bring good support for like second class citizens in the Max Lisp. Uh, like uh, vectors are not really used and they don't have that many good functions to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, same for hash tables, it's a bit clumsy if you want to work with hash tables. So map and sec tried to, to fill that gap and, and make it easier to use these uh, data structures that are otherwise really good. Um, if some of you don't really know how sequences work in Emacs, I shamelessly stole this from the Emacs Lisp manual. Uh, it shows how it's uh, how sequences are done in Emacs Lisp. You see that a list, is, but uh, a vector and string, they both are arrays, and the arrays itself a sequence. Uh, it gives you a bit of background to understand uh, what set is about. Uh, okay. Um, one thing that you will probably ask yourself uh, is why not use dash dot el and uh, well, it was the first thing I tried to do because I thought back then that Dash was really, really good, and I tried to get it included in Max uh, itself, not as, a, uh, as an external library, but as something that is bundled with it. Um, but then I, I realized after some time that uh, Dash had one well, a few limitations. Uh, I won't say issues because it's the way it's done, but limitations. Uh, it's a list manipulation library, so it only works with lists. And there is nothing wrong with that, but it's what well, it won't work with your vectors or, or with anything else like strings. Um, also, dash uh, I I think falls into the trap of using re a really convenient prefix, just a, a single dash, uh, for its uh, function name, and includes other things that are not related to lists, like threading macros or, or other cool things. But it's not related to list manipulation or sequence manipulation. And it also includes anaphoric macros and other like, features that I didn't want to include. And also, the last thing, and uh, it's probably the most important, dash can't be extended to new data structures. Uh, and, and that's a big, big limitation for me. Um, in this slide, um, I will try to give you an overview of SEC and, and uh, some design principles behind it and, and why it works, the way it works. 
the first thing is that SEC works on all sequence types uh, in MaxList. And the second is it can be extended. It's using uh, generic functions, uh, gen like that generic and that method for, 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 for those who know about this. Uh, so you can extend it uh, with new data structures. So if tomorrow somebody comes with a nice uh, persistent data structures done with a, a tree or, or something, doesn't matter. Uh, SEC can work with that. So you can use a different data structure without changing your code and using the same, the exact same API. Uh, you, you won't have to change everything if you start off with a list because it's really convenient to work with lists. And in a month you, you think, oh, but that's really more like a vector. Uh, I want to use vectors instead. Well, it will work. You won't have to change anything. Just use vectors instead. Uh, the next thing is uh, all functions in sec are prefixed with sec dash. Uh, sec tries to be really consistent. Uh, so all functions are prefixed, and all functions work the same way. Uh, one other important aspect, and I will talk more about it later, is the side effect. There is no side effect in SEC, or almost no side effect in SEC. And finally, uh, it's quite well tested in sectests.tl. So if you want to contribute, uh, feel free to do so, but don't forget to add tests for your new features or your bug fixes. I think that gives uh, a good overview. Uh, I do have a specific slide about side effects, uh, but I think it's pretty important. Uh, SEC creates uh, sequences uh, not really as variables that you can mutate, but as values. Uh, and that's really important. It will never mutate your sequences. Uh, if it has to, it will return copy, uh, like doing, uh, creating a subsequence or reversing your sequence. It will copy it and do that. And it doesn't have any other side effect whatsoever. Uh, uh, so it's in that sense, uh, it's only pure functions, no side effects. Uh, as an example, mapping, return, reversing, etc. They all return copies uh, of your sequences. Uh, there is one exception, mm -hmm. though. Uh, SEC does have support for set F, uh, and here you have to mutate them. It's the purpose of set F itself, uh, but it's the only exception. Okay. Uh, next, I have uh, some examples I want to go through with you. Uh, it's not an exhaustive list of all functions of SEC. I tried to uh, take what I thought was the most important functions and explain you how it works and what you can do with SEC. Uh, first, we'll go with predicates. Uh, I will evaluate all the code snippets as I go, so you can look down the screen and see what it evaluates to in the echo area of my Emacs. Uh, I will first load SEC. Uh, this is Emacs 25, so it has the date. Uh, the first predicate is sec p. It will return t or non nil if your, the argument you pass to it is a sequence. So this is a vector, by the way, if you're not used to it, that's, that's a vector in Emacs list uh, with two and four more as its elements. So if I evaluate this, you see that it's, it returns t, so that's, that's a sequence. That's a sec. Uh, sec empty p returns t if your sequence is empty. Here I do it with a string. Okay. Uh, more useful uh, predicates sec sum p uh, will return on nil if uh, the sequence, uh, any element of the sequence matches the predicates you give it. And for convenience, it actually returns the element itself. Uh, so here it's one. Sec every p is a bit different. It will return on if all the elements match uh, your predicate. Uh, and contains p, you give it a sequence and the predicate, and it will return on nil if the element is inside your sequence. Uh, and if that returns. And if I do something else like, I don't know, three, see it returns nil. Okay. Uh, that was for, for uh, predicates. I'm not really interesting, but. We have to go through it if you want to know a bit more about SEC. Uh, now, iterating and mapping, iterating and so on. Uh, SEC has a quite large uh, range of functions for, for iteration and, and, and uh, sequence manipulation in general. Uh, the first one is SEC do SEC. Uh, do SEC is in Max Lisp, uh, but works on any sequence. Uh, it's a macro, so it has the same semantics of do list. 
which can give it any sequence, uh, being an array or, or, or a list. Uh, if you know, do set in closure, it's more well, pretty similar. Uh, and this is, of course, a macro that you would use primary for side effect. Uh, let's value this. Here I'm printing. Uh, it wants my mini buffer, it's not large enough. Uh, it won't see it entirely. But it's printing all the elements one by one of my list one with one, two, three, four. Uh, so I can do it with a list, but I can also do it with a vector here, or indeed with a string. Okay. Uh, next, you have uh, secdo. Uh, secdo is similar to mapc, uh, but it has one important difference. If you extend sec to work with a new type of sequence, what well, secdo will work on it, while well, mapc will only work with the default, like the ba basic sequence types of the max lisp. Uh, but you, you, you probably know that mapc works not only on lisp, but on other types as well. Uh, okay, by that, so that it does print the elements. Uh, mapping, uh, sec map is similar to map car. Uh, uh, it will uh, apply the function you give it to each element of your seconds in turn and map the result. Uh, so here I gave you three examples with uh, an, a list, a vector, and string. And you see that uh, you the same necessarily the same sequence type as your list. And I think mapcar does the same, and that's for efficiency reasons. It will return sequence, so you can still apply other sequence functions on it. But it won't be, uh, like here, I, I give it a string, and it will, it will return a list. Yeah, so you have to be aware of that. Uh, filtering and removing. Uh, so sec filter and sec remove. Uh, you probably know these functions, so it's evaluated, it will filter out uh, elements based on a predicate, and remove will do the exact opposite. Uh, that's for filtering. And then you have reducing. Uh, you know the reduce operation. Uh, one thing here, uh, the initial value is not optional, you have to, to provide it. Uh, so what that would do is return what, 12, and if I can count, yes, it does, good. Okay, so that was it. Now, um, about uh, accessing elements. Uh, there is one primary function for that, it's sec element. Uh, you give it a sequence and the index uh, you want to access to. Uh, and one thing that is, uh, Important here is that it works with GV, this uh, generalized variables library. Uh, so set f will work on, on sec element. So here I'm actually mutating my uh, vector. Okay, I'm setting six to the second uh, element of the vector here. Uh, you can also create subsequence. That's uh, not modifying the original sequence. It's a returning copy of it. Uh, and you can do uh, take and drop and take one drop mark with uh, predicates also. Uh, so this will uh, drop the first two, this will take the first two, and this will drop while uh, numbers are odd, and this will uh, take one and drop while numbers are odd. Okay. Uh, the last thing I, I want to, to see with you uh, with sec.tl, and then I will move on to something else is destructuring and pKs. Um, if you don't know about pKs, uh, it's a pattern matching library in Emacs Lisp. It's really cool, I really like it. Uh, and one important thing about it is that it's extensible. You can uh, create new patterns uh, to match. Uh, so sec does it, and with uh, sec.tl loaded, you can use pKs with uh, sequences and match sequences and do destructuring. So let's have a look at how it works. Uh, oh, it's not. Ah, I will have to reduce the size a bit for this. Or maybe I can just do it like that. Okay. Uh, so, what is this doing? It's uh, structuring the sequence, this array, this vector, sorry, with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's binding the variables first, third, and rest to the first element, the third element, and the fourth and five were the rest of the uh, vector. And then evaluating body here. Let's do that. Okay. So that's one thing. The more 
interesting thing is that you can nest uh, the structure in. So that's what we do here. We have a vector, its first element here, and the second is actually a list with two and another sequence string with help. And here you see how you bind A, B, C to first one, then two, then the first letter of help. And that's what you get. Uh, pattern matching, if you know PKs, uh, just, just if you know PKs, that's how you do it with a sequence once loaded. Uh, if you don't, I, I won't go into details about it. Uh, just if you don't know what PKs and you're interested, you can do uh, uh, describe function PKs and then you will have uh, a very good explanation of what it does and how it works. Okay, I'm, I'm done with uh, sec.el, so I don't know if I, there are any questions, if I should take questions now or if I should take questions at the end of the presentation. Um, um, it's, does anyone have any questions now? Yes, so we do have a couple questions. Um, okay, right. And let me just call on some people, and then uh, people on IRC, you can also que ask questions and I'll be reading them off. So, uh, what was your question? And I'll repeat it. My question okay, great. Yeah, so the question was, um, why did you create this library? Like, what application um, or, like, what need did you see uh, that you created this library to fulfill? Okay, um, that's a very good question. Uh, well, I, I realized that um, Emacs Lisp doesn't only have lists. Uh, and that's what I was using everywhere at the beginning. It, uh, it has other uh, sequential data structures. Um, but I ended up using lists all the time because it was the only sequential data structures that really had good support. And, and changing, when, when I was writing a package, a max package, changing from a list to something else was really, really painful because I always had to change everything uh, to to adapt to a new uh, library. Of course, a uh, new sequence type, sorry. Of course, you have some uh, functions that work already on, on many sequences. Uh, elements is one of them, or you have mapc or mapcar, but it's, it's really limited, you don't have much. And also it comes from uh, my love from Dash. I think it's a really, really nice library, and you see how popular it is, and I, I think it shows how much Emacs needs a good sequence uh, manipulation library. Uh, so I think it comes from both. Uh, my initial plan, but when I realized that I could use new sequence types, uh, then I thought, okay, we need something else in Dash. We need something uh, that gives this kind of a great uh, uh, library uh, for manipulating lists, but other sequences as well. Yeah. And so, uh, any other questions in the audience? Yeah, just uh, first. It's amazing. It looks so much better than regular uh, plain old list or e Emacs list. But my question is, what? This is just curiosity. But what's? I don't understand the difference between take while and filter. Yeah. So did you catch that, or do you want me to repeat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood. Thank you. Okay. Uh, take while will uh, go from the beginning of your sequence and evaluate your predicate uh, on each element in turn until one element doesn't match the predicate and stop there. Okay. Filter will filter even after that. Is that clear? Filter yeah. will go filter. through your entire sequence. Yeah. It won't stop because one element doesn't match. Cool, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. And so we have one question from IRC. Uh, yeah. Jabroni <laughs> says, are the copied values optimized at all? Uh, for example, copy on write? No. Um, okay. SEC tries to use um, the optimized uh, functions whenever possible. For example, SEC do and, and SEC map by default to uh, use mapc and mapcar, which are, are, are quite fast, but they won't 
optimize uh, your sequences. Uh, if you create a subsequence, for example, the default behavior will be to use the subsec provided by uh, the common list uh, compatibility layer. Uh, so no, the answer is no. Okay, cool. And one more question in the audience, and then we'll move on. There's another one on IRC also. Uh, we'll get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the question from the audience was um, if closure was an inspiration for this, because almost every single one of these functions is also a closure function. Well, yes, it was, and I think the next uh, slides will show even more of it. Uh, so the answer definitely is yes. So, yes. Okay, do you want to keep going? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a library that uh, uh, is not yet in, in Emacs, but it's in a separate branch of the Emacs repository, and it will probably end up uh, in Elva, not Emacs itself, but anyway. It's named Stream. And talking about closure influence, Stream is an implementation of lazy sequences. And why I'm interested in showing it to you today is because uh, it extends and I think it provides a good example uh, on how you can do self-extensec if you want to with your own data types. Uh, first, I will explain you quickly uh, what it does, and then we'll jump to the code and see how it, it extends sec itself. So, strings is a lazy sequence uh, implementation. If you know uh, closure, you will know what that means, uh, and it implements uh, a new new sequence type uh, as comes cells. So it's not like a new basic type. It's actually a list, uh, but it has its own libraries around it to manipulate it. Um, so stream is a lazy list of comps cells. It means that you give it uh, a first element and a way to compute the rest of the stream. Uh, but it won't evaluate anything uh, eagerly. It will wait until you actually ask the data to evaluate lazy. Uh, each element of the stream. So it makes it uh, easy to stream a file or a buffer or, or create infinite streams uh, or lazy streams of what we want. That's how we got about how it works now. Uh, quickly, this will uh, create a range uh, from 0 to 10, uh, lazy range. So if you look at uh, what it returns here, you can see this weird, it's actually a closure uh, encapsulating different things, but basically what you see surrounding is it's mm -hmm. actually a list, right? Uh, but it has uh, a few functions to manipulate it. I can ask the first element of my stream, and that will ask, uh, evaluate just without evaluating the rest of the stream. So if you look at that, uh, it answers zero. And if I ask for the rest now, you see that I get a new stream. And this is, of course, also lazy. So I can ask, is, is that still stream? Yes. I haven't consumed the entire stream, just the first one. Uh, but I can get the second one, like this. And I could go on, go on until I reach the end and consume everything. Um, what I like about stream is that you can stream pretty much everything. The, the function stream allows you to create streams on data. So here I create a stream on a list. Uh, I can get the first element of my list, but I can also stream a string and get the first element of my string. Uh, I can stream this buffer and get this. You see that here I start using the sequence, the sec library. I take the first 50 characters of my stream and convert that back into a string. And uh, you get the first uh, 50 characters of this buffer. Uh, but you could virtually uh, stream anything uh, because stream this function is a generic function, so you can extend it to stream whatever you want. Um, before we go into the code, I wanted to show you uh, how to use stream itself uh, to create infinite sequences. So that will return, uh, this function will uh, return a stream of ones. It's an infinite stream that will only contain one. Uh, so the first will be one, but any element of the stream uh, will be one to here and take the element of the rest of the rest of the stream, and it's still one. 
Okay, uh, this will uh, return uh, integers uh, from zero to infinite. Uh, so if I evaluate this, I get one, but if I want the rest, I get uh, zero, one, sorry, and then two, and then three, and so on, and so on, and so on. So that, that's what it is, string. Uh, but the real interesting thing for me is how it works. So here you go. That uh, string.el, we will skip that comment, we don't really care. If you're interested, you can have a look at how it delays evaluation and how it forces evaluation and how it builds together this string itself. Uh, but I'm not really interested in that today. What I want to show you is, ah, come on, where is it? After that. Here. Here we go. So that's. Um, this uh, is an extension to uh, the generic function dispatch mechanism in Maxis that allows you to dispatch generic functions on strings. And it's really actually simple. It, it takes, well, a priority to see how you should dispatch, but that's, that's secondary. What is important is how you know what a string is a string when you want to dispatch is with this string key. And then you tag the object with this simple string. That's basically what it does. And once you have that, it means that you can, you see here, sec p, I extend sec p with a new its type stream. So it means that now sec p will work on swan strings. And is a stream a sequence? Well, yes, that's a t. And so on. So all you will set all uh, functions of sec, or the basic ones that need to be uh, uh, overridden by your own types are implemented here. Uh, so you see that uh, it's not completely done. You see that subsec is not implemented yet, but that's the detail. Uh, we can have a look at sec take, for example. You see that what it does is if you only want zero, you return the empty stream, else you return stream. So never evaluate eagerly, you just return another stream that would evaluate stuff if you uh, ask it to. Uh, so that's uh, stream.el, it's in stream, it's branching in the max git repository if you want to have a look. Uh, but I think it shows really the power of sec in this extensibility of the library. Um, yeah. uh, the last part of my talk will be about uh, map.el. Uh, I will be a bit shorter on this because it follows the same principles as sec but works on uh, key value data structures. Uh, it currently supports uh, a lists, hash tables, and arrays. There is no support for plists. Uh, the reason is uh, you can't really distinguish a lists and plists. Uh, it's really just in your mind that it's an a list or not. Uh, and a lists are, are uh, superior to plists uh, in general, so the most a lists. Uh, it's not available in Elpa for, for technical reasons. It has dependencies to Emacs 25. So you can't use it today with the stable version of Emacs. You will have to wait a bit. And another key difference is that unlike SEC, it does have a few side effects. Uh, for It's just being pragmatic. You, you, in Emacs list, you often uh, mutate the map by setting key and values. Uh, okay, so again, I, I will do the same as with sec, but I will be a bit uh, shorter, just, just I will go quickly to show you uh, the basic API. To access elements, you have map elements, map put and map delete. Map put and map delete being uh, macros. Let's have a look. Uh, map element, you see that's, that's an A-list. Uh, I want to access the value at the key B of my A-list, and that will answer to same here, in my let form, I have a hash table with uh, the key A, and I associate the value 2, and then I call map element on it, and I get the value. And you see that here, that's a vector. Uh, and yes, map works on uh, arrays. And the reason is uh, the keys are the indexes of the sequence. So I can get the second element of my uh, vector, no problem. And I can do the same with a string. OK? Um, next, uh, putting and deleting. I only have uh, map put as an example here, but map. 
uh, map put will uh, mutate your map and set the value at the key you give it. So here I have an A list with A1 and B2, and I'm setting the value 3 at the key B, and then I'm retrieving the, key, the value with map element, and I get 3. And same here with a vector. I'm changing the first index, the element of index 1, so the second element should be A, B, C. Okay. Uh, next, uh, GV support, same as set as sec. You can uh, change uh, value of an element of your map using set f. So we evaluate that. It's uh, now d. So it's similar to map put. I mean, uh, I think map, if I remember correctly, map put actually uses set f. Uh, so it's, you can use one or the other. Uh, same as sec, you have a few predicates that you can use. Uh, map p uh, to know if uh, the argument is or not map. Map empty P will answer T if or non nil if your uh, map is empty. You can ask if a uh, specific map contains a key. And here you see that it doesn't contain the key C. And you have map sum P. You will see that the, uh, both uh, second map use the same terms for the same things and the same verbs. Uh, it's on purpose, of course. One key difference here is map sum P takes the, the, the function you give it takes two arguments, a pair of key and value, because it's, it's a map, it's not secret. So, but it works the same way otherwise. Uh, here it will return the first pair that it finds that matches uh, your predicate. And this will answer map, every P will answer non nil if your, uh, all the elements of your map uh, match the predicate. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know if you know, but in, in ELISP, it's actually not straightforward to access the keys of a hash table. Or at least it wasn't until very recently, max 24.5, I think, and it's, uh, the function is in server X, so it's not even loaded by default. So map fixes all of that. You have all you expect from, from a map library. You can access all the keys at once, all the values at once, and you can map and do all of that stuff. So here I access all the keys of, of my map, here I access the values of the map, and here uh, I access um, the element, but nested. I give it a path to follow to get uh, a value. So you see here this A list is composed of A lists. So I have an A list with uh, first key is A, and the value is another A list with the key C and the value 3. So I, I give it, okay, that's how you will access uh, the values you look for the key A, and in there you look for the key C. So if you have the last data in tree, it makes it really easy to, to retrieve data. So here we should get the three, right? Okay. And of course you can do that with different kind of groups. A vector with a string and another string, and, and the third element is an A list with A and one. So here I ask for the second element, so it's zero indexed, so it returns the list, and then I want the value of the key A, get one. Uh, iteration and mapping and so on. Uh, map apply, uh, it's not, the verb is not map here, like in sec. The reason is uh, it would be map map, which is ugly. Uh, so we changed it for map apply. Uh, so that's a bit inconsistent, but uh, it's a trade-off. Um, I have a pop up here. I'll have to get rid of that. Sorry, yeah, I'm back. Uh, so let's evaluate this. Uh, it will uh, uh, evaluate this form for every key value pairs of my uh, map and return the results. Uh, here I don't use the return values, but you can, uh, it's a mapping. So you can take the return values. Uh, you can filter and remove elements the same way. So it's it's all similar to sec, but you see that each function takes two arguments instead of one. Uh, I will anyway evaluate it. So here it is that filtered out uh, some values, some key values, and removing it will do the opposite. You will get on the even values instead. And finally, um, destructuring. So it 
thought as SEC uh, does uh, in regard of destructuring and uh, pattern matching. So here I have a map uh, with A1, B2, C3, and um, name it my map. And I'm using maplet uh, to do destructuring. So I'm binding to the value of the key, uh, the value associated with the key B, the variable B, and same for C. And then I'm evaluating body here. Okay. So the value for key B is two. You can do more complex uh, uh, mapping or binding. Here I name it file one for the key B and file two for the key C. And I'm doing the same thing. And finally, you have an example of PKs. Instead of uh, what we had set here before, now it's map. And I want the value associated with the keys A and B. And I evaluate this. And I get one. OK, um, that's about it. Uh, I can take more questions now. Uh, my final word would be start using second map in your packages. Uh, you can use sec now. You can't actually use map now, unfortunately. You will have to wait for the next release of Emacs. And again, if you want to download my slides, they will be here online on my website. Thank you. Woo. Yeah, so uh, we have some questions from the audience. Um, Paul, did you want to start? Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was my question? Do you remember? I, okay, no. sorry. Um, I, I had two questions, and one of them was whether the uh, infinite streams, did, is there a tail recursion elimination in, in Emacs Lisp now, or is like Guile Emacs going to have that, or are you using that? Um, second question was um, whether the that the hash maps gave you a lazy stream or whether it just went and copied all of those keys? Uh, Did you catch that? Could you repeat the question, please? Yes. No, I didn't. So uh, the first question was, um, I remember the second question. So the second question was, for the hash maps, um, did that give you a lazy stream or did it copy all the values? Uh, you mean the hash table? Yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, no, it's not using streams, so it will copy the values. Okay. Yeah, uh, and the second, the first question was uh, whether there's tail recursion elimination or if we have to wait for Guile Emacs for that. In the, in no, the there, is, there is not. Fortunately, I would love it, but no, there is not. Well, with stream.tl, it's, it's less of a problem. Uh, it will not recurse eagerly anyway, so you won't. Uh, it, will, it will only do it lazily, so you won't have stack overflow easily. Uh, so I don't think it's that much of a problem, but I would love to have that recursion. Cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, and to the people on IRC, you can start asking questions. Um, does anyone in the room, anyone else have questions? Yes. So can we use stream.el if we're not on Emacs 25? No, you can't. Sorry. Wah wah. Upgrade. It's really good. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So are there reasons where you wouldn't want to use this package and you would just want to use the standard uh, functions for this? Um, yes, um, maybe. If you want raw speed, uh, SEC uh, uses uh, CL generics so for these generic functions, which is pretty optimized already, but it's not as fast as a, a simple function. So there is a dispatch going on, so you, you will lose a tiny bit of speed. Not that it matters that much, but a tiny bit anyway. Okay. Anyone else in the room? Eric has a question. I've yeah. also ducked into IRC because it's probably hard to understand. But MapLet um, struck me as interesting. And the first thing I thought of was, what if the um, map I want to manipulate has keys that are not symbols? Does it, can it do something in that case? I get the feeling that you've got a special case 
for when the keys are symbols. And I think you show some other way of dealing with it when the keys are like integers, but it went off the screen and I can't remember. Is there, in fact, a way to use MAPLET when the keys are not symbols? Yeah, so the question is, um, is there a way to use MAPLET when the keys aren't symbols? Um, yeah. Well, why not? Or, I mean, how does that work? How does that work? I've never thought about that. Well, let's uh, go. The, the, um, the it's MAPLET. Oh, we'll, yeah, too. because there, there are two versions of MAPLET. The simple one is uh, the symbol will also be bound. Uh, it's it's used for for the key and for the binding, right? But you have a more complex version when you put key value, key value, key value lists, and there you can use whatever you want. That's what I thought. Okay, uh, and we do have uh, one question from the stream or from IRC, which is more of a bug report from Wasa Masa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and they say package inil initialize on Emacs twenty five with sec. Uh, dot el results in a cryptic error, but and they have a paste. I can just send it to you because we don't expect you uh, to debug yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. And Sasha on IRC says this is really cool, um, and she had a question about, um, or is. Are there performance benefits from using um, vectors instead of lists when, like, because most code uses lists in Emacs Lisp? Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, access time is very different in a list from a vector, right? Um, well, Emacs Lisp is pretty fast at accessing lists, but still you have to go through your list if you want to access an element that is at the end. Yeah. Uh, so I think the benefit comes. Uh, if you have a data structure with more than 100 elements, I think, I don't remember exactly benchmarks, but yeah, if you have a large uh, sequence, uh, you use a vector if you want to access just any element of it. Yeah. Cool. It's not at all the same kind of data structure, so it will be very different. Uh huh. So, uh, are there any other questions in here? No, looks good. Do you have something? Okay, cool. Thank you so much for uh, Thank you very much. that was a really awesome talk. Uh, and Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I think you're blocking the uh, phone camera. Ah, my bad. Okay, so um, we do have fifteen minutes until uh, the next talk and